Oppo, the second most profitable phone company in China, has finally entered the Indian market with the flagship device, that is the Oppo N1, first shown off in September 2013. The device was launched in China in December and has quickly made its way over to India. We got a chance to take a look at the device for ourselves at an event held in New Delhi. To guide us through some of the more unique aspects of the phone, we got a product manager at Oppo to give us a brief demonstration of the 5.9-inch phablet. This is Oppo N1 and it had a float, a flip camera. When you flip the camera, it turns on the camera application and now you can take photos. And uh, I will now uh, introduce you Color OS. It's a, a customized long based on Android. And uh, uh, we create Color OS with a abundant gesture. Like this is gesture panel and you can uh, draw things and it goes through to the uh, functions. And we also have some multi-finger functions, like three fingers sliding down and it captures the screen. Four fingers move in the, into the center, it turns on the camera. And also screen off gestures, like uh, draw a circle, turns on the camera. Two fingers sliding down, open the music. Right-handed arrow next to sound. Left-handed, previous. Okay, two fingers sliding down, turns off. And this is screen off gesture. And also, if you are in a dark environment, you can just, like this, scribble V and the flashlight turns on. Powered by 1.7 GHz Snapdragon 600 processor, 2 GB of RAM, the Oppo N1 brings to the table fairly high-end specifications with some software and hardware differentiators. Here's a hands-on report of the device. And it's got some very interesting spe specifications and nifty features, hardware features like the uh, reversible camera. You can switch this up front uh, to use it as a front-facing camera as well. It's a 13 megapixel sensor manufactured by Sony. It's a stacked sensor. Now the uh, screen is a 5.9 inch Full HD display. You've got the capacitive buttons at the bottom. The phone is fairly large, but it feels quite good in the hand. Uh, the Oppo has used some very good materials over here and the construction feels very solid. Over on the side, you've got the uh, SIM card slot. Moving over to the back, you've got matte finish and it feels and, uh, very good when held. Uh, you've got a dual LED flash on the reversible camera module and very subtle branding. Over to the right side of the phone, you've got the power key and the volume rocker. The subtle chamfered edges, very similar to the iPhone and it looks very good in fact. Under the hood is a 1.7 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 processor which is paired with 2 GB of RAM. There's also 16 GB of storage. The battery life is uh, supposed to be very good. It's a 3610 mAh unit. Uh, so it's running Android 4.2 but uh, the OS has been specifically tweaked by um, Oppo and it's called the Color OS. Now there's major uh, changes in the interface uh, but we've got to say that it feels extremely fluid. In fact it's like it's possibly one of the most fluid interface layers that we've seen on any device so far. You can watch the entire video review of the Oppo N1 on Phone Arena's YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.